happy Wednesday, dolphins and butterflies. How do you think sound travels to our ears so that we can hear it? Let me give you a hint. What is between us that we can't see? Ear, you're right. Sound travels in waves slowly through the air. We can't see these waves though. They're invisible. We just hear them once that wave reaches our ears. Most of what we hear is sound traveling through air. Today, you're going to need two forks. My buddy Scuttle likes to call them dingle hoppers. What are these used for? Combing your hair? That seems right. Am I forgetting something? Anywho, you will need a bucket or a container filled with water. A plastic bottle or maybe a plastic cup that you can cut off the bottom so that your plastic cup or bottle has an opening on this side and an opening on this side. Also, if you have any maybe toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls, this would be a good substitute for that. You could use this instead. Let's clink two forks together and listen. This is what we hear when the sound of our forks travel through air. Do you think it will sound different or the same if we listen to our forks clink underwater? Take a guess right now. So fill your bucket almost full with water. If you're using a plastic bottle or a plastic cup, you can cut the bottom off. Make sure you have an adult to help you with this. Hello. We're not gonna use this part. Goodbye. Put your ear to one end and put the other end underwater. Someone can help clink the forks underwater while your ear is listening underwater. What does it sound like? Take turns clinking and listening. What did you hear? I heard a louder sound and a clearer sound. What does that mean? It means that sound travels faster through water than it does through air. So fish hear things around them a lot clearer and better than we do. Sound also travels quickly through solid things, like a table. Put your ear on a table and knock with your hand. You can hear the sound and you can feel the sound through vibrations on solid things. How cool! Today you've had a chance to hear things through the air like we normally do, but also underwater and through solids. Our ears are such helpful tools to us. We wouldn't hear anything if it weren't for our ears. Good luck, CLP scientists. If you want to hear more of what things sound like underwater, keep watching. I'm gonna add a few clips at the end of what it sounds like to be underwater when I was snorkeling in the Galapagos Islands. You might even hear the sound of a sea lion if you listen really closely.